In today's video, going from obese to competing on stage. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Rebella from ProPhysique.com. I got a guest today. Introduce yourself. I'm Tyler Weeb from Pro Physique. Tyler is the second coach that has come on board with Pro Physique, and uh, very excited because we have a, a Canadian amongst our midst. Great White North. So he's down here for the <laughs> summer, which is a mistake because he needs to come down in the winter. But today's video topic, we're actually going to answer a question off of Tyler's Instagram. So I'll put Tyler's Instagram here. He got a question in his story. Tyler, what's the question? So basically this person is wanting to know if they have a substantial amount of weight to lose, but they want to get on stage, what does that process look like? All right. So. We've actually got some experience in this area. So weight loss is a common goal for a lot of people. And I often find that a competition prep can help that process. Why? Because it gives you a clear defined goal. We know what we want to do. Tyler's dieting. Look at the sexy cheeks. I'm dieting. Um, it's just, it, do you find it just helps with your decision making? Oh, for sure. Like it makes things just that much easier to go, well, I'm hungry. And I would really like to have this, but I've got this goal in mind. So instead I'm going to actually have this that really fits my macros a lot better. And it's probably going to actually keep me yep. a bit more full. A hundred percent. So one, one process that we've gone through with, with a very overweight individual is the goal of getting on a competition stage. And the big thing there is what is your actual goal? Cause there's no requirements for getting on stage. You can get on stage looking however you want. Most people, however, want to fit in. So Tyler, what was your feedback to this question? What are your thoughts about someone going kind of from obese to competition lean? Well, the first thing that we're really going to want to do is we're going to want to lose some substantial body fat because we are going to want to get closer to a stage weight first, right? Because that's, that's going to be the biggest amount of weight that we're going to have to lose. And that's going to kind of take quite a bit of time, especially, you know, if we're having to lose 60 to 70 pounds right in there. And so what I would really want to do is I would want to spend some time losing that body fat. Then once we get into a bit of a better spot, body composition wise, we would probably want to spend some time in a reverse, right? Building our muscle, building back up our metabolic rate and just really getting ready for the stage and what that's going to look like. And then from there, we can start really looking at when we want to compete. And then maybe we spend six, eight months in a reverse phase, building the necessary muscle. Then we can spend, you know, the 20, 24 weeks in a prep to get on to stage. Yeah. So Tyler brings up a very good point when someone wants to go and I'll post a question up here for you guys to see. So this person was a female and wanted to lose 60 pounds to get on stage weight stage. And that is a very large amount of body weight. And I believe, you know, through my experience working with overweight individuals that there is a limit to how much body fat we can lose in a single fat loss process effectively. There gets to be a point of diminishing returns where calories get too low, cardio gets too high, and we just begin to suffer and the physique suffers, muscle body composition all suffer and you are not able to kind of optimize things. So what Tyler said here is basically we're going to go through two phases. We're going to go through an initial diet phase, get as lean as we can, get to the point where we're suffering a little bit and then go, okay, now we need to spend six months, maybe longer in a restoration process. We're kind of building up the metabolism, focusing on lean body mass, still keeping that goal in mind because the one thing you don't want to do is put on body fat during this that you have to take off again. Then, then you can start looking at show dates. You can start picking a show weight and you can actually diet for the show successfully. Uh, I have a great example of this. I'll link the video below. I had a client a few years ago named Garrett who went from 300 pounds to 200 pounds to get on stage over two years. So we dieted from 300 down to 240, maintained there. He reversed. He actually got back up to like 250, 255. Then we got down to 200 for stage. Still, both times he lost weight was a huge chunk, but we found when he was in prep, it just went much better. Um, his body was really responding well. And again, Garrett is a big guy, um, carries a lot of muscle 
and I think hormonally speaking, men are gonna have a little easier time um, with that process because men tend to overeat when women tend to undereat throughout their lives. And it's not always the case for every individual, but a female that needs to lose 60 pounds, that might take more than two tries. Right. Exactly. That might take more than two reverses. Right. So great question. Now, why get on the bodybuilding stage? What do you think, Tyler? Like, What's your advice for this person? If it's, it can be a dream for someone. It, it can be the idea of, you know, going from almost, you know, kind of one extreme to the other and being able to, a, uh, you know, apply themselves and do something that a lot of people just can't do or won't do. And it, it's a very hard thing to get to stage. Yeah. Uh, even for people who are, you know, relatively already closer to stage weight, it, prep's always a tough thing. And then when you're coming from, you know, 60 to 70, 80 pounds overweight, um, and with the dream of stepping on stage one day, you know, that can be more than just a physical transformation, yeah. but a life transformation as well. Absolutely. You you adopt such a different lifestyle. Uh, you adopt um, a different mentality. You you learn so much about yourself and you, you actually become not just physically a new person, but mentally a new person Absolutely. as well. And the journey can just be, you know, amazing. So. Yeah, so you know, the first time I competed, I ended up losing over 40 pounds, which I was not obese by any means. So you get below your natural body fat set point competing. The reason I like the competition prep goal for someone who is kind of overweight and maybe not surrounded by fit people is that, like Tyler said, you start to adopt a different thought process. You stop making excuses. You start optimizing your time. You become better at time management, meal planning. These are all skills that carry over into the rest of your life, not just gym life, but work life, uh, family life. I find that people that do bodybuilding the right way become better human beings in all aspects of their life. So I'm all for it. As long as you set proper expectations, don't rush the process. I think you could absolutely get on stage and uh, hopefully this answered your question. And as always guys, I'll talk to you tomorrow.